All right. Yeah. Well, what's like the most popular philosophy right now for the last 10 years in entrepreneurship? Like Ryan Holiday's been talking about it, Tim Ferriss, like stoicism. Mm -hmm. And what stoicism essentially is, is like, yeah, no, I'm sorry, right. I'm, I'm totally agreeing. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. But you already, you already know before I say it, like the whole yeah, the thing reaction. behind it is like, don't uh, don't have your feelings. Uh, try to separate yourself from the rest of the world. Like it's completely fucked up. And so now I'm glad people are starting to talk about like, okay, maybe being stoic isn't the idea we should be going for. Especially as men, we all we already feel a little bit isolated sometimes. And the idea is more connection, not uh, less. I think there's another side to it as well. Sorry, just on, on what you're saying, the sort of stoicism. There's also, I think, this this uh, narrative in the entrepreneurial space in particular that if you feel it's your fault, you know, and therefore it's all in your hands and you just got to knuckle down and crack on and, you know, try harder, you know, oh, it's not working out. Well, try even harder, try even harder, you know. So about grinning and bearing it, but not only that, if, if you you know, it's all your fault, the failure's on you. Um, and yeah, I think that is, can be quite destructive in an entrepreneurial space. You know, you're taking on so much. Mm. Um, yeah, and it's not just about getting through and grinning and bearing it. It is, no, this is all my fault. And I think that takes it to another level. Um, yeah, it's not great. No, 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 <laughs> the stress levels. Yeah, yeah, absolutely, you know, Yeah. huge. But don't you also like, so at least a few of us have dabbled with entrepreneurship or, you know, even tangentially. Why? Why do you get involved <laughs> in it? You know, because yeah. it's almost like I mean, that's what I've sort of been asking myself recently. It's like, why have I done all this for so long? What's the answer? Yeah, I, I, uh, I, I can start like I'm, cause I remember even my, my younger brother has seen me like start in businesses and have different degrees, degrees of success, but it's also allowed me to like travel, to live here, to be outside of Spanish culture while living in a, a wonderful city. But I kept telling him sometimes like, don't start a business because you just want to start a business because it's definitely not like the path to like, you know, this wonderful fun life. Like don't believe Instagram's full of shit. Like 80, 90% of the job is eating shit every single day. Mm -hmm. And like, yeah, if you like it or you find like there's a business idea or something that you really want to start and you just have it and you do it, then definitely go and do it. But if you think like it's the answer for what ails you, like it is not a panacea. And so even now that I, I'm transitioning from, I've been doing e-commerce the last 10 years, I'm really thinking like, okay, what are businesses that either I can really sustain that I'll enjoy or ones that like, will take a small enough amount of time that will be a good challenge, but it's not going to, you know, mentally bankrupt me <laughs> because it's so stressful. Mm -hmm. And because you're right, like there is a lot of, I think every business owner says like, if I knew how hard it was going to be at the start, I never would have done this. And I don't know, I, that's, that's as far as I've come for why. But how does it relate to your personal story? You know? Like for way? me, like I like during my process lately, my journey lately, I think about how I view myself. And if I like go back towards my younger self, like I, things I'm sort of uncovering is like I associated myself on the topic of manhood of being like my best man, you know, version of myself in part because it's like, OK, I'm going to hustle. I'm going to do this. And I, I enjoy entrepreneurship. I really do. But like if I really unpack it, I, it was kind of like, well, I had a lot to prove to myself and to others. And that's what the journey has been about is like I have this fire in me to prove it and to sort of like this is a way that I can kind of do that, you know, related to like family things or personal things. I never really thought about that until recently. That's you know? really interesting. I, I, I don't I don't disagree. I, I know from my experience like growing up in like small town Ontario, like an hour outside of Toronto, that like there really isn't a lot going on especially like before you know the early early aughts when like the internet was starting to grow like you really my choices was like teacher bank manager work for the government like these are the aspirations that my mom had and like the ideas that i saw of my friends going to these professions and, and i think like okay so i'm in my early 20s and any of these jobs i pick i'm gonna have them until i retire and then after that, I'm just going to wait around to die, maybe take some cruises. 
<laughs> and like that scared the living shit out of me. And it, the first time I went and saw a, a therapist was in like my late 20s when I'd had a couple jobs here and there, like different degrees of enjoyment. But I'm like, I can't find anything that I really want to do. And it was, a, it was a therapist that said, like, have you ever thought of entrepreneurship? Like, you can do one project and then you can, you know, either give up on it or you can do another one and all these things. And, like, I've always had a ton of ideas, even in, in, in high school, and I had no idea how to ever execute any of them. And so it wasn't until then that I was like, okay, maybe I'll try this different <coughs> idea of entrepreneurship. And I was reading, like, Business 2.0. It was like a new offshoot of Forbes at that time. And everything was so cool. And I just remember I wanted to really be in that world. And it was the first thing that felt like after reading the four hour work week being like, okay, I don't want to wait to, you know, my sixties to, to retire and live my life. Cause I saw my dad do that. Like he worked like to his credit, he worked so many overtime ships, so many things, so he could make enough money to retire at 55 and he did. And it, I think it's a huge accomplishment to this day, but it really made me think that like, oh fuck, but I don't want to spend all my working years like hating my job and waiting until I'm this age. So like it really was like, like a good example for me to be like, like I credited him for doing all that stuff and giving us all these things, but I don't, I don't want that for my, for my life. And so maybe that just drove me to entrepreneurship, but I never thought of that question. 